Hey, what's going on? Rakeem Madison here, and in this video, we're going to be talking about being call only ads, okay? So you definitely want to stick throughout the rest of this video if you want to learn how to generate more phone calls to your business using Bing, okay? So pay attention. This is definitely going to be good for the people who are definitely doing like paper call offers. Maybe you got a local business or you're just trying to generate phone calls online, okay? So it'll be up to you, but you definitely want to pay attention to what I'm going to be showing you here in this video, okay? So if you haven't yet already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Also, tick that bell icon if you want to learn how to build a long, sustainable business that will eventually give you the freedom you deserve all right so with that being said we're gonna go ahead and get into this uh, pretty powerful content that I'm about to share with you okay all right so here we go so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and minimize my camera all right so now we are inside of my being um, ad account so first thing I want you to do is I want you to follow along with me okay so if you're watching this go ahead log into your Bing account because I'm assuming if you're watching this right now you already probably advertising on Bing and you're looking for a way to actually start to generate more phone calls so go ahead log into your Bing account if you got to pause this go ahead and pause it and, and and just focus on what I'm about to show you I'm literally about to show you step by step okay alright so here we go so first step is you want to go to your campaigns okay so I'm gonna go here and I want to click on my campaigns and okay so now that we're on the campaign screen before I, I really get into things I want to show you a picture because I want to explain this to you so you can get a um, you can get a better idea on what the difference is ver what the difference is going to be um, between a true call only ad and a uh, like I, I don't want to say a fake call a call only ad but a true one and I guess we'll just use the word fake okay all right so here we go so I'm gonna pull up a picture um, that I want to show you guys. All right, all right. So here is okay. It should be somewhere on my uh, screen saved. Okay, so here we go. So we got okay. There we go. All right. So once the picture shows up, um, I want to show you the difference. So these are actual true call only ads. So let me actually kind of stress this out a little bit. All right, so you can see how the number is at the top rather than the number being at the bottom, okay? When the number is at the top, that is a true call only ad. So this is what I'm going to be showing you how to do in this video step by step inside of Bing. Now, if you were using like Google Ads, um, Google Ads has it where theirs are automatically like that. But if you're going to be using uh, Bing, which is a lot more cost effective than Google Ads, then you're gonna to want to pay close attention all right so I'm gonna show you how to do these type of ads all right so I'm gonna go back into my Bing ads account all right so here we go so this is what this is what we're gonna do we're gonna go here to create campaign okay follow me step by step okay create the campaign then we're gonna go down here to where it says phone calls to my business okay we're gonna click on that all right so now I'm just gonna create like a, a, a test phone campaign okay test phone uh, I'm just gonna put like ten dollars per day um, let's see here and then what we're gonna do here for the location now you don't want to just put like United States especially if you're like a local business or something you're trying to generate calls in a specific area you want to go ahead and put that specific area so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put West Palm Beach all right and then see what pulls up all right so we're just gonna go 25 miles around West Palm Beach okay so within that area my ad is gonna be showing up in that area with the number on it okay so we're gonna go to the next step now which is to make sure it's people in the targeted location because we don't want people searching for or viewing pages about the targeted location so if you're in Indonesia just just to kind of clarify what I mean is if you're in Indonesia and you're searching or for something in uh, West Palm Beach I don't want I don't want my ad to show up to you so hopefully that 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 part right there makes sense so I'm gonna take that off and then we're gonna go down here to where it says the language so depending on you know who it is that you're targeting whether whatever language they speak you want to use that language uh, in my case for this uh, video purposes 
uh, it's English. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go save and go to next step. All right, so it says no suggestions are available for your targeted locations. Okay, so probably in that location, things aren't looking that well for, let me, matter of fact, let me actually backtrack. So for this video purposes, I'm just going to use the United States so it'll actually pull some data. Okay. All right. So boom. And I'm going to hit target. And now I'm going to go and hit save and next step. Okay. So now we can see that there is a difference. So I'm going to use plumbing because I went ahead before the video and I found a business because I want to show you how to set the ad up. Um, so, so this, you know, this is a whole lot clearer to you. So we're just going to put plumbing services. That may not be a keyword, but I just kind of want to go through the whole entire process and not spend a whole lot of time explaining um, this whole process to you, like taking too much of your time. OK. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. All right. So boom, I got my keywords. So now I'm going to go to the next step. All right, so this is the this is the important part, okay? So yes, we want to go here. So if you watch any of my Bing ads, uh, you know, training videos here on YouTube, then you know you come here and you go through and you create your ad. But before we even create the ad, I want to go ahead and go to the most important part. So you can see right here it says call extensions, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new call extension. And we're in the United States, so we're going to keep it right there. And then I'm going to put a phone number in there. So let's say, for instance, the phone number is 619-245-6578. Uh, okay, so let's just say that that's the number right there. Now, here's the part that I want you to focus in on. Okay, you can see it says, yes, I would like to track my calls using a Microsoft advertising forwarding number and if you don't want to do that you don't have to do that right you have your preference you can use theirs and then they'll basically just um, instead of using this number right here they're actually going to use their own tracking number okay now in this case let's say for instance you don't want to use that you want to use the number that's presented right there you can just click on the no and then this is the important part right here you see it says mobile format so what you want to do is you want to click show just the number okay show just the number now what that is doing you remember the picture that I showed you um, that I showed you in the beginning where it had the number only at the top and then they had the description at the bottom right and when people click on that number right when they when they see the ad and they click the number it's not going to take them to a website it's going to actually take them to call you right and if you're a business owner you're trying to generate calls that's definitely beneficial to you okay so that step is important now if you're like going back to if you're a local business owner um, you can actually set your hours or even if you're online but you have a set amount of hours you can go and click selected days and hours so if you only work from nine to five or your business on your, your business hours are only from nine to five then you can go and add a schedule Okay, and then you can just come in here, put 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Boom, and those will be your hours, and then just make sure you're on your account's time zone. Okay, now at this point, you are done with this particular part, and then you want to click on save. Okay, so now you have your selected call extension, and then what you want to do is you want to hit save. All right. Now, make sure before you hit save that if you're going to put a schedule, make sure you actually put the schedule in there before you hit save. OK. All right. So now we want to go and we want to create our ad. So, like I said, if you watch any of my videos, you want to go ahead and create um, the ad copy. So this is going to be as I showed you over here. Let's go back to that picture. That picture, as you can see, the ad copy is below. OK, and then there's the ad there with the with the number and then there's the website. So when we create our ad over here, right, we're going to make sure, you know, we put a URL in there. Right. You could put a URL in there if you want to. Right. And then you come here, you put the title part one. So I'm just going to put test. Matter of fact, let's just use plumbing since we since I have my example up here. So the, the company is title plumbing. OK, so I can basically just go over here and look at the services that they have. Right. Which is going to be something revolved around plumbing. So if I'm over here, right, I can probably do something like best plumbing. And I forgot where this place was that. I, oh, OK. New York. 
best plumbing in New York, best plumber um, in New York. That may not be the best ad, but I just want to kind of get the point across to you. So best plumber in New York, call now for X. We're just going to say call now for X, right? And you don't have to use title part three. Um, if you want to, that's optional, but you can just go ahead and put your website in there. Um, and then come down here you can do a path if that's something that you want to do I do that from time to time so what that does is let's say for instance this is the website you see how this looks right here it says slash Seattle slash flowers that's these are the slashes so that's basically what that is that's that could be a way for you to track okay and then here you want to go ahead and put your ad copy so this is where you want to create some ad copy that's going to get people to actually get to, to, to get people to actually call you. So you want to, you know, spend a little bit of time on that, write some good copy that's just going to boom, right? And they're, they're ready to call you. And that's what you want to do, all right? And then you come down here as usual. You could do an ad copy too because it's just going to extend um, along with ad text number one. And then you come down here, you put the same URL. And then you come here and then you hit save. Now, this is the part, matter of fact, let me just let me just try to create something. So test um, tester five. Um, and then we're just gonna put best plumber. I'm just kind of going through this so I can show you the next step because there is a next step. All right, so boom. Um, let's just put this website in there for now. Boom and boom and boom and okay so it looks like we got everything we need and then we're going to hit save all right so now that we have our ad up there what we want to do is we want to go down and hit save and go to next step we got our budget here for ten dollars a day right you can either put it on enhance or you can use manual usually when i do it um, i mostly use manual okay and then here you can see one dollar a dollar bid is going to get me 479 clicks um yeah for the for the month okay and then if i i can adjust that if i wanted to so if i wanted to just do 50 cents i could do that as well that's going to get me 883 clicks okay now that's not the important part though what the important part is since we want this to be a true mobile call only ad you got to go here to the device and then you want to decrease okay we're gonna go you see this you see how it says increase and decrease we're gonna decrease the desktop bid by 100% and we're also going to decrease the tablet by 100% so since we're decreasing these two by 100% that means the only one that it's gonna have focus on is the actual phone because the only way you can call somebody is on the phone and they actually have it where you can actually um, do it through Skype as well but we're just gonna focus on the phone so now it's completely mobile so the only choice when they see that number boom they click the number they call you and boom you got yourself a lead or you just close the deal okay so that is how you do a true call only ad on Bing. okay so um, that's pretty much it at this particular point you hit save and then boom your campaign is created okay so as you can see it was a it was a couple of steps that you needed to do but you want to make sure if you're doing any paper call of you know offers like on Max Bounty or Offer Vault or you're a local business owner or you're just trying to generate phone calls, this is how you're going to be able to do it with being effectively. Okay, so hopefully you got some value from this video and if you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also drop me a comment down below letting me know if this was helpful or valuable and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.